sleep tonight. Say something about pills. Darcy! <laughs> He's after me! Who's after you? Kodak Kennedy's moved in! Who's Kodak Kennedy? The cop! He's got a photographic memory and he's moved in! He'll dob me for sure! Why? Well, you know how it's against the law to escape from jail. You? Someone who looks a little bit like me in the mirror. <laughs> you, Darcy Kelso's a crew. No, no, not Darcy Kelso. Uh, Arthur Thomas Wyndham, 35, Caucasian, uh, unemployed precision grinder from Bankstown. Who's he? Oh, uh, not me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no! Darcy, we have no what he's got. Say nothing, say nothing. Pick on me grandmother, you just about knocked me nose through the back of me head. I'm oh, sorry, comrade, I just knocked myself today. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Just uh, playing with uh, Minnie Mouse's panty goes, that's all. Hey? <laughs> oh, sorry, they're the wrong size. Oh, well, back to being a uh, global citizen again, eh? Oh, adios, amigos. What do you reckon he put that paper bag on his head? It's not raining. Oh, you know, Darcy, sometimes I reckon he just picked the wrong ball in the great lotto of life. Guess whose balls came home to roost today? <laughs> Yours truly. The very me! What? <laughs> and the winner of the Mega Support the Juniors Chook Raffle is Ted Bullpit! OK, OK, so where is this famous Chook? Not one, twelve! And you can't eat any of them. <laughs> I've ordered them, they're coming through this afternoon. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to say. What? Get a job. <laughs> Darcy? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Over here, blonde leader one. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just waiting for the pills to kick in. <laughs> Listen to me, Darcy. Oh, there they go. Ground control to Major Darcy. <laughs> well, just straighten up and fly right, Major Tom. I'm a woman under pressure. With vacancies as they are, my job's on the line. I've just had a mammogram. My hairdresser's left town. And the new drug testing program, I'm in. Drugs. A new contraceptive. And I've just found out they put me in the placebo group. <laughs> Placebos, eh? Oh, bummer. Here, you want one of these? What are they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, but don't take the big pink ones. They're steridant. <laughs> By the way, do you know Mr Kennedy, the new man in Villa 28? He thinks he knows you. OK, I resign. What? Look at me! You're all right, I don't resign. Sack me. Oh, I've got to go. And my grandmother's sick and I've got to put flowers on her grave. What do you want? Uh, my Tamagotchi's gone back to his planet and I've got to follow him. Ah, uh, Huck! Is that a grasshopper I hear uh, hopping? Uh, I shall return. Hello, Samantha. How was your mammogram? About as much fun as your hysterectomy. <laughs> now, how can I help you, Muriel? Hello, Joan. Samantha, I've just had the most exciting experience. You managed to manacle the plumber again? <laughs> no, the poor boy had to go home. Those Lebanese really take the marriage vows very seriously. We've just had a sneak preview tour of Silver Palms. See, 
Australia's first truly five-star retirement resort. It's wonderful, Samantha, darling. They've got a piano bar, and in the villas, the beds light up and vibrate, just like mine. <laughs> but they don't have that rubber thingy. They wouldn't, Mario. That's my own invention. It heightens the experience. <laughs> you didn't sign anything, did you? Sign, you know, writing. Scratch your pathetic signature across a binding legal document. <laughs> How dare they build across the road from us? They're offering very attractive early bird deals. They're poaching. I knew it. You know how Mrs. Blackett said she was moving to America to star in Hollywood's craziest stunt grannies? <laughs> yes. Across the road. And I think there's quite possibly another defector in the ranks, judging by the secret whispers being dropped into your Johnny's ear by that very attractive manageress, Jody Watsonham. What? Jody Lee Proctor. She's there. You know her? Know her? Everyone knows her. She's one of those girls. Her career path has been largely horizontal. <laughs> She's the girl who puts suck into success. What's wrong with that? She has no shame. I mean, I've never taken my clothes... Well, once, but, um, I was desperate. I really needed that raise. Don't you worry, Samantha. My Jono's too smart to be swayed by a pretty girl. Righto, Muriel, pack your bags. We're out of here. What? We're moving to Silver Palms. <laughs> I don't like the idea of you moving to this flash silver palms mob. Because you're going to miss your old mate? Don't worry, we're just across the road. No, I'm worried about Muriel. What about her? Well, it's a very busy road and she's no chicken. Next thing you know, she'll get hit by a truck and she'll be in the hospital for months. <laughs> you know what that'll mean? What? No leftovers for Ted. <laughs> I'll be starving to death just because selfish old you can't resist a girl with big norks. <laughs> The girl had nothing to do with it. Now look, Silver Palms Retirement Village is state of the art. What? Heated pool with water slide, full security, multiplex theatre, gourmet dining. Yeah, but mainly the girl had big nor. Well, yes, she did. She did. <laughs> no, I, I want to marry both of them. Marry them? Oh, go take them away for a weekend. <laughs> Just one night, it do. <laughs> I think I need a beer. Leave your money on the fridge. <laughs> I brought the beer over here. Guess whose electricity keeps it cool? <laughs> what, do you want one? Oh, if you're buying, yes, OK, but not a VB. I've paid for those. I'll have whatever you brought. <laughs> it's my famous home brew. I'll have a VB. <laughs> as soon as a man opens his fridge, the world comes to his door. <laughs> Ted's not here. This is his answering machine. Leave a message when you hear the beep. Beep. <laughs> oh, hide the beers, Jono. Ah, Mr. Bullpit. Yes? Comet. You can't drink and drive. <laughs> Mr. Bullpit, I've got something for you. I can't afford it. It's free. Come in. <laughs> Where can I put this down? Uh, over on the table. What is it? You're, hang on, hang on. It uh, could be for me. I ordered something to be delivered to your address, uh, you know, uh, in case I was out and uh, Muriel wasn't. <laughs> from Mandy's inflatable boutique in Canberra. <laughs> it's from Chickens Galore, the tastiest chook on the block. Ah, uh, well, uh, forget I said anything. <laughs> it's my prize. I won it in the mega chook raffle at the pub. So I'm here. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh. There you go. Uh, how about a tip? Never eat anything blue. <laughs> you can tell Muriel she can stick her leftovers. I'm having roast chook tonight. <laughs> Roof me dead. They've thawed already. Someone to write 
write to you every week. No, twice a week. Bisha! Bisha! Shut up! Shut up! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Ah! It's murder! Murder! Shut up! Shut up! All right, go! But you'll be back! You'll be back crawling from silver bloody palms and I'll laugh! Ha! Ha! Just like that! Ha! Ha! I hate you! And your purple eyeshadow! I hate you all! But not you, Mr. Johnston! Not you! I love you! And Muriel! Please stay! Sorry, Samantha. We're going where we're wanted. Come along, Muriel. Mr. Morgan, what are you doing? Feeding the chooks. What's it look like doing the ironing? It's the last time. I'm not staying in a village overrun with chooks and idiots. Mr. Morgan, you can't keep chooks here. Why not? You can't keep people here. It's against the rule. It's not, I checked. Look, find me the Ted Bullpit can't keep chooks rule. Go on, go on, go on. It's common sense, you cretin. Oh, it pet me. That vicious beast attacked me. Don't kick Dame Joan. She's me best liar. Except Jodie Lee. Jodie Lee, look how big these are, Proctor. Come to Silver Palms, Mr Johnston, and I'll give you a very personal welcome. I knew I had it here somewhere. My all-purpose crisis celebration and panic ointment. Champagne. What would I do without it? Drink gin, I suppose. <laughs> this will cheer you up. This place will be a ghost town soon, and I'm history with the company. I'll be lucky if they send me to Maralinga Pines. Welcome to Maralinga Pines, the low-budget retirement village where the residents glow in the dark. <laughs> where did I go wrong? Why are they all leaving? Because it's boring, darling. Boring? It can't be boring. I'm a vivacious and bubbly personality with a zany sense of humour. Whispering Pines is very pleasant, but it is a bit boring. Over there, they have party nights. See? Hawaiian nights, Elizabethan theatre nights. We have barbecues. <laughs> it always rains. I know. Here's a thought. Get cook to stick some hormones into the shepherd's pie, bring in some oxygen cylinders and have a lovely big orgy. I'll bring my whip. My boyfriend's going to have a sex change. Really? What to? <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. It changes as good as a holiday. Look at Peter Will. <laughs> so, the old windows want fun, do they? I'll give them f f fun. I'll give them more fun than a barrel of nude monkeys on Prozac. Just wait till tomorrow night. Nude monkeys? <gasps> That's new. Look at this. Eleven a lane. See? Dame Joan did this one. This big one's from Dolly Parton. Oh, it's a double yoke for sure. Kathy Freeman did the little brown one. Oh, she's a bugger to catch. And I think that Bronwyn Bishop dropped this one. It's already hard boiled. Which one didn't like? KD Lang, as usual. An anchor, little chook. But at least they're making me rich. <laughs> Look at this. Six bucks the tax department doesn't know anything about. Shouldn't you put him in a cage or something? No, no, no. You get more money for free range eggs. Besides, the villagers love them. Not here yet. You'll just have to put up with me. Oh. Have a sherry. No, no, it's flat. I don't like anything without a head on it. Neither do I. 
Now, Teddy, I've been thinking about us. Us? You and me? Us? The same. But I can't. I've forgotten how to. Scared! <laughs> now that John o and Miro are moving out of their lovely spacious villa, I was thinking we could sell our small individual villas and move our bits and pieces in together. Think of the fun nights, sweet home. Uh, fun? I don't like fun, especially at night. If I'm going to have fun, I want to see what's going on. It won't be totally dark. We need some light for the camera to work. Camera? Oh, I love making movies. And the best thing about my movies is you don't have to remember any lines. <laughs> There you are, Ted. Evening, Joan. John O, darling. And Muriel. Looking so, so, how shall I put it? So, vin ordinaire. <laughs> French. Thank you, Joan. You're looking very arc de triomphe yourself. <laughs> Thank God you've arrived, John O. The nympho's at me again. Well, what a night. A final night here, and Samantha's having a special fun night. I don't see any fun. The only fun thing I can see is a dead balloon over there in the corner. At least I think it's a balloon. <laughs> Thank God for that. I'm starting. I could bite the bum out of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Here we are together again. It must be fate. No, I think it's just bad luck. <laughs> what is this glob? Exotic Eastern spices combine with secret gypsy herbs and mushrooms in this traditional Romany dish, veal goulash. P.S. Tonight it's chicken because the veal didn't thaw in time. <laughs> Is there anything else? Rice. Rice? I thought we won the war. <laughs> what about bread? Is there any bread? No. Well, I'd better have some of this uh, gypsy glomp. Not too much for Jono, Joan. Gypsy herbs and spices play havoc with his functions. That'll do, Muriel. He trumpets all night. <laughs> Talk about greenhouse gases. Muriel! And I say, think of the global warming, but he just thunders away all night. <laughs> I'm in Rotary and we don't do that sort of thing. <laughs> Join in. Have some fun, for God's sakes! There's just as much fun here as across the road! <laughs> Come on, Bert. Swing the gypsy. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Shut up, Darcy. Darcy! <laughs> I try. God knows I try to make this a fun place. You reckon they have fun over there, but when I try to give you fun, what do I get? Nothing! Look at me! A towering figure of fun, livening up your otherwise dull existences. Well, obviously, my best isn't good enough. So, as far as I'm concerned, you can all go to Silver Palms because I won't care. I'm going to join a convent. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, and by the way, Mr. Bullpit. What? Don't bother rounding up your chickens tomorrow. Why not? Because you've all just eaten them. <laughs> at peace for the very world. What do you want now? Nothing. Nothing. I am a substance-free zone. The shadow no longer must lurk in the shadows. What's happened now? Kodak Kennedy has gone. He's moved out to Silver Palms. They found out he was an ex-cop, so now he's head of security. Everyone wins. I hide no more, and he gets paid to be retired. 
It's so elegant I could frame it. Hey? Then stand by for gasping, even Samantha's happy. Why? All that mob that went across the road, they're coming back. <laughs> yes, the more houses are returning as we speak. So that's everyone except Mr. Kennedy who was more trouble than he was worth. <laughs> because of my vivacious and bubbly personality, they love me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Jackson. I know I've done a good job. Yes, I'd be happy to re-sign. Goodbye. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> ah, Mr. Johnston and Muriel, you're back. Yes. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Go on, Jono. Do it. These are for you. <laughs> We're sorry we went and we're happy to be back. And for heaven's sake. It's all right, Muriel. Apology accepted. Welcome back. Perhaps in future you should read the fine print on a contract. I studied it. No, you didn't. You were studying a couple of other things. A couple of other big things. Yes, well, anyway, I... Because if you had read it, you would have seen that all Silver Palm's residents were contractually bound to vacate the premises during the Olympic year. It was a damn ripoff. And not only that, they wouldn't let him be chairman of anything. And we had a little cry, didn't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone should blow Samantha up. What's wrong now? Not only does she cook me chooks, but I'm out of the eggs business as well. <laughs> I only found one in the garden and I can't sell that. Why not? Well, look. 